RSV stands for respiratory syncytial virus. This is a respiratory virus that can severely affect um, young infants and um, babies that are less than six months old. RSV in young babies can look like just, you know, poor feeding, um, a little bit more lethargic, working to breathe. Um, they can give you very subtle signs at first that they're starting to become in, in, in distress and having some trouble with breathing. Uh, RSV in babies may or may not include fever. And so for parents, it's really important to start looking at the early cues of poor feeding, decreased appetite, lethargy. Um, and sometimes periodic breathing and apnea. In younger infants, what happens there, muscle is not um, strong enough to cough up all the secretion. They're almost like drowning in their secretion. Uh, we need to help them, suction the airway, clear the airway for them. Like we do the job for them. Everything is supportive. Um, if a child needed suctioning, we clear their airway. As you may imagine, if infant is so stuffy, it's hard for them to feed. So they become dehydrated. So we have to support them with IV fluid. And from time to time, if they need oxygen, that's what uh, we provide uh, for them as well while in the hospital. We have uh, a monoclonal antibody called palivizumab um, or synergist that we often recommend for our high-risk babies that um, may be premature or have chronic lung disease or have a hemodynamically significant um, congenital heart condition. So it's important to talk to your provider and to um, figure out if your child falls into one of those categories and may be eligible for those monthly intramuscular monoclonal antibodies to protect them as we head into full-on RSV season. It's definitely a big concern is seeing um, perhaps an overlap of these respiratory viruses and um, the potential of new uh, different types of variants um, related to Omicron or COVID that may resurge in the winter months to come. How parent prevent infection um, is hand hygiene. That's the best thing that you can do. Wash your hands um, maybe a bit more frequently. I, I would change clothing by the time you get to home. Say they, they go to their uh, preschool or to go to school before they touch their younger sibling to change their clothing because viruses stick into the um, surfaces and particularly RSV, they could stay in your clothing as well.